Hi friends, welcome to my Inspired by Van Gogh. Um, Nikki Parr and myself did this live stream together on Inst International Crafters YouTube and these are some of the supplies I'm going to be using. Um, just to show you here, some uh, tissue paper, paint, I had a little bit of plaster wrap there and I had the um, medium, matte medium and the gloss medium, just some thickness to uh, make some lots of deep uh, brush feeling strokes and stuff like that over top some of the, the painting here. So what I'm doing is sketching out my idea. So I have a dome world here and I have my out um, outside that and then I decide to do my wind pattern in the inside here as well as my sun and my moon. So this is just inspired by um, Van Gogh and I thought instead of doing the starry night the way he does it I want to do kind of the same idea but my own twist. So here's my sun, there's my moon so I'm just planning it out right now and then I decide I'm going to do some of his really cool bushes um, tree trees that he does in some of his paintings so I do that at the bottom now I'm just gessoing it as I go piece by piece. I don't need to do this. This is just my way of thinking it through. So I'm throwing some gesso uh, on there. And I'm just doing it, like I said, with the pattern. So then I'm kind of just using it as a guide here to what I want to do. So here is my plaster wrap. And I'm just cutting some of those up. Um, I do most of my cutting on the sides, but I just did a little bit there to show you about the, about the length of my strips. Soaking them in water, and then I'm doing my wind, trying to do my wind breezy look here in the airflow. <laughs> I bring the water out for a second just to show you what I'm doing. Just regular room temperature. Trying to get um, a nice pattern and a nice depth and interest with the the plaster wrap. So what I'm using is kind of like if you look at um, Van Gogh's deep uh, brush strokes and that kind of thing, it just looks so dimensional and that's where I was going with this. So having lots of fun with it. Getting some really nice swirlies <laughs> in there. So I use um, the plaster wrap on this and I really enjoyed it. It really shaped well and I was a little worried about the wood but it is um, like a press board but it's, it's a good strong it didn't warp or didn't do anything to it so it was pretty good. So I'm just continuing with that for a little bit here. This is a long video so I don't know how much docking I'm going to do but it was, um, it is actually neat. I wanted to do a canvas board rather than a canvas because I wasn't sure how much weight was going to be on there. So I did do it on the wood for that reason. Um, so it wouldn't sag. I'm just going around the moon there. And I'm adding my gesso around in between. And, and around it. So I'm going around my bottom parts here in my trees, so I'm thinking about doing the trees in the same manner, I think. So it's giving me time. I'm also just laying on it because it's been already dry. It's it's I'm speeded I speed it through like eight times, so it's already dry enough for me to gesso over top of the um, plaster, which is really nice. And then it doesn't soak up like so much. Sorry, making noises here. My <laughs> coaster stuck to my coffee. So it doesn't soak up all the paint. And then I'm not wasting too much paint. So now I've got some um, deco art, just uh, deco art, just so deco art um, glue there. And it's the matte medium. And I'm putting yellow tissue paper down. Um, another different texture I wanted to play with for my son. 
and I just get that in there and I'm just tearing little pieces and gluing it down um, and continuing to do that and then I kind of at the end of it start making a little bit more strippy pieces and you'll see that I'm trying to glue them a little bit like as if they're a paintbrush stroke in the round circle of the sun kind of a thing so it's kind of like a swirly bit sun as well so I'm doing that you should be able to see that now that soon here I just want to get a nice and thick sun happening there good texture now I think you can see that I'm trying to yeah, twist it and swirl it around a bit so then there's a little bit more of texture and it looks like a brush stroke looks like raised area. It looks really nice. Drying that up a little bit and then I work on my moon which is next. <laughs> so I'm taking the white tissue just sketching out my moon a little bit better so I can see and I'm doing the same thing with the white tissue using my matte decoupage and just putting my moon in there. So the sun and the moon together there and then that same t thing I'm doing is kind of twisting it and I was making it so then it looks like strokes of brush strokes in like a thick oil paint. In my mind that's what I was trying to go for getting that um, look that Van Gogh has of the nice thick brush strokes. So here I believe I'm just going to start painting it nice the light blue and I'm kind of thinking my way through because I'm not sure of the colors that I really really want on the like what blues how dark I want to go with the wind and all that kind of stuff so I'm just kind of getting my blues down and painting on the plaster and with the gesso on there it's like it's really nice and it's not like soaking right in so it's just going on there really nice like just a regular canvas part I added <laughs> so it's really cool and I just love the way the texture is looking so I do end up painting all of that blue the very light light blue and getting my air in there in that dome and just getting that air right in there and um, then go in with different colors afterwards just to make it look like airflow or something just to make it look dimensional <laughs> had lots of fun with this one this whimsical piece here I'm going in with a little bit of the darker I believe this one's true blue and it's all deco art paint that I'm using and picking up a little bit of that in there. Here's a process It's so fun to do this and play and um, Nikki and I do this monthly where we do take one of the old um, great um, artists and we do our twist on it. Um, last month we did um, um, Clint and um, we both did our own twist and it was just nice um, piece I think it was really fun and challenging and like I said this week this month we did um, Van Gogh and Nikki's gonna pick one for next month and we're just gonna keep altering taking turns picking one of the masters or somebody we're inspired by that's um, really cool and um, that we find anyways lots of inspiration from and we can play with it so here I'm doing the trees somewhat of um, Van Gogh's brush looks kind of Dr. Susie and I really like that look so I do a few of them and I do a couple I think uh, at least one anyway that's just on the board itself but I do a few dimensional here like this shape them like the wind blowing them And I like to use the back of the pen paintbrush to manipulate the um, plaster into the shape that I want. I really like it. And then I just paint around there, dry it up a little bit here. 
It doesn't take much pressure. It works really well to, to uh, put the plaster on the board. You don't have to worry about falling off and that kind of thing. So I, I like it. It's really fun to work with. I can imagine a lot more different um, techniques and things I can play with as well. This is, I think, my first time using it like this. And um, I have used uh, these plasters on like paint brushes and other things, and they've stuck for years. So I'm not worried about it coming off at all. So I did gesso those trees, gessoing the outside here. Because I'm just kind of, it's kind of guiding me. So I'm thinking too as I'm doing it step by step. It's guiding me. I paint the base black of my trees, which I like. And then add one that's a nice flat one there that's not dimensional. I do add another one, but I get rid of it. Because I do, I just think it's too much. And unfortunately, my camera was a little bit high up on here, so I missed some of that, but you can see a little bit. <laughs> so I'm just getting my, there's a piece of tree coming out on the flat part here, so I'm just getting my, what my look is and that kind of thing. So here I'm gessoing over this tree, I'm like, I don't like that one, that was just too much. And, but unfortunately wasn't um, paying attention to where my camera was at. I had two cameras. I had the one on my phone and I had the other one here, this, the webcam here. So here I am putting more tissue paper for the ice wall, the edge of my dome, and I am just having fun with it. I did lots of layers to make this, try to make it look like a ice wall, and I added a little bit of um, just shading the blue too to make the nice icy look a little bit, but not too much, so I like it. So I used the tissue paper for another textured piece. I think that um, I didn't use any um, papers or um, plaster for the stars and I'm kind of wishing I did so I'm not sure if I'm going to go back and fix that and do that because I feel like the stars were really flat but we'll see. I might do it yet later on but I haven't done it yet. <laughs> So I'm just making my nice ice wall here, which is really fun, going with the flow of things. Um, painting my, what I just said there over my tree blue, getting around the edges of those trees there, really good. Um, I think that when you're painting, and you can just do anything that comes to mind, and this is a painting I wanted to do for a while, and it came to mind to do a a kind of dome world and I've been wanting to do it for ages. I've done a sim some other different types with like a koi pond and little dome worlds in the koi pond and that kind of thing and I just you know abstract art and um, mixed media you can just do whatever comes to mind. There shouldn't be any you know anyone judgment on you know what you're doing and all that kind of stuff because it's just fun things that come out of your head just fun and um, like I said, I used the inspiration of Van Gogh's really cool bushes and the for the starry night, like I said, I used the wind twirlies and that really just inspired me. So here I am working in the space um, where the stars are and I do the navy blue, black, and then I kind of add a little bit, that's actually it's true blue, it's not navy, and then I do a little bit more blue um, try to get my foundation there for my stars. I was f trying to flicker some of this stuff on here, um, misters, and I ended up getting a blue, really dark blue misters and flickering it on to see how it looked. And then I just blend whatever flickered on my world, and I was kind of brushing it off, and it was leaving these little marks of look like dull stars, and I really liked it, so I left it, and I actually did a little bit more just to get that look and I really liked it so playing around and experimenting with your products it's fun so yeah that's what it did um, let's see what I'm working on now I think I'm trying to let that dry and I think I'm gonna work on my wind my oh no my ocean I want a choppy ocean 
So I, what I did with my brush is I'm using a square brush and I was just dabbing it down. I dabbed the, the true blue down and then the lighter blue over top of it. So I had choppy ocean. I liked it. Now I'm just going around my trees really good. I also go around my, um, here, my wind markings, my breeze. The reason is that I, there is lots of space in between um, in the plasters, these little squares, little spaces, so I really want to get it all um, covered. So I was really paying attention to that and getting it all in the spaces, trying to look around in there and have no white specks coming out. So I got the darker, a little bit of a darker blue in there, and that's what I'm doing with it. Just really making sure I'm getting it in there, in all the little nooks and crannies. It's really coming together for me, so I like it. I like it a lot. I kind of wish that this board would have been bigger so then I could have played a little bit more. I was like thinking that. I'm like, oh man, if this is bigger, I could have done more things. <laughs> but I'm going around my trees here. I actually put a little bit of blue on my trees, a little bit of green on top of the black, and then I dry brush. Here's a little bit of, I think this is the green. And then I dry brush a little bit, even a little bit of gold with my fingers after here's a little bit of blue. And I do the black right over top. Because if you look at a Van Gogh, it's all the colors kind of mixed together. So it's really cool. I want to get that effect. You can see um, at the bottom there, my little ice wall has got a little reflection of the ocean on it. Try to get that in there. I was just having so much fun with this little world. Here's my yellow. What was I doing with yellow? Oh yeah, I'm going to work on my sun a bit more, I think. Oh, no, doing the stars. I also do make my sun bigger. I just wanted the paper part in the center, and then I do paint my sun bigger. I want a nice big sun. So I kind of just stamped the brush down on the yellow, like on the, the sky there, the... Uh, space the same way I did the ocean I just stamped it down and then painted my stars right over just so then that yellow is kind of like the glowy background then I did my dashes around to kind of remind me again of the paint strokes that Van Gogh has um yeah this this one I felt like it took a little while to come together but it did <laughs> The stars do come together. I work on them a little bit more and more and more. So you'll see that. Making my my dome part look more solid or something. I don't know. And then I think I'm going to work on my airflow. <laughs> and I don't know if you guys can hear the funny noises my fridge is making and the dishwasher is kind of weird squeaking. <laughs> anyway, so I'm doing the light blue that's inside because I really brushed that darker blue in there just to get all my white gone so I had to get right in some of there to get all my nice light blue back in there mm. I need to have like multiple colors I need my light blue and then my darker blue and then even darker so I was feeling like it's still not Van Gogh-y enough not enough um, dashes and color pop so I kept working it a really fun swirly page I mean well I guess it's not page it's canvas but it was a really fun swirly look I love it I put a little bit of um, <coughs> see some of the dashes I'm starting to put down there a bit now around it and that kind of thing. It, it's kind of a slow process because I'm like, I got to be careful. I don't want to go crazy. I didn't want to have to recover anything. So I'm going around my stars with the lighter blue again and trying to make it look like they're just glowing. And I'm going with the, um, it's a, it's a white, but it's not a real white. It's like buttermilk. And I'm going a little bit breezy on my breeziness and just getting some of that highlighted. My 
my air blowing. I think now looking at it, maybe I should have made some clouds. <laughs> I didn't make any clouds. So here I'm painting my sun and I'm doing it in a dash form right around there. There's like kind of streaks and dashes. And then I'm using the school bus yellow and as well as the um, buttermilk. Make my nice big sun. Make a little bit of buttermilk around my glowing of the moon and on the moon a bit there and that's where I'm going with that. Just trying to make it look glowy. I go in with a darker blue. I'm still adding some white dashes on my wind blowing air. <laughs> on my wind! I think every time I said uh, wind, Nikki was ch chuckling at me. <laughs> Yeah, bunch of grown-ups painting together, chuckling at the word wind. <laughs> so here's my darker um, true blue in deco art. There you can see the little bottle on the top uh, right hand side. And I am just doing my little dashes just to try to get the look like there's air flowing. Movement. Making it look like movement. I'm using my fingers here for the gold and I'm doing swirls around my stars as well of gold. And a little bit on my ice there. And you can see it really nicely on the black on the trees. And if you see me playing the mouse, because I keep flipping back to a couple of different Van Gogh um, paintings to see if the, I'm tr comparing <laughs> comparing darkness of blues and that. Um, here, see how I'm making this really big mess of blobs? I'm using my uh, matte medium uh, to try to make <laughs> big blobs of <laughs> um, texture, I suppose, that's the word I'm looking for, just to make it look like when it's done, there's lots of texture and paint strokes and that kind of thing. And I do that. So I'm going around the sun, I'm even going on the um, wind, uh, and everywhere to get some texture going, even around my stars, and I just try to make it nice and thick going around there. Drying that up so it's nice and white, but that does go clear afterwards. <laughs> I also use my gloss medium in this way, but more at the end, I think. So this is the basics of it. I'm really happy with it, and I think this was pretty much the end of our stream. It was a three and a half hour stream, um, and I speed it up in 27 minutes, I think, here. Crazy. So, But it, it turned out really cute, and I like it a lot. And I'm showing my plaster and all that kind of stuff that I, you know, used for different textures. And I think that was made it really fun. It would be really fun um, uh, canvas with different flowers and stuff too. To use all these different textures, I think. So here I'm talking and I'm using the Crayola um, twist sticks. And I go around on my stars with those. And I actually really, really like it. And I'm doing dashes of that white around the stars here. And this was actually not on the stream, I don't think. Um, and I really like the way that popped. So I was happy with that. But, like I said, the, the stars are still flat. So I'm not sure if I'm going to change that or just leave it. Um, so after this point here, the stream is done and I'm just playing with it on my own. And let's see here. You'll see where it just kind of showing. I don't even know what I'm doing. Just showing. Here I'm trying to get some more thickness of the lines. I'm just like, the stars are just so flat. So I think I use the glossy, and it's a thicker one. It's the glossy matte, or glossy medium. Um, and I start putting that on there.
And I think I also added some to my ocean, but I'm not sure if, if um, it was visible or not. Just to try to get my choppiness of the ocean looking there. Playing with it. Here I dot in um, a little bit of yellow just in the center of my stars. And then I dashed around a little bit more on my sun. So that was it. That was the done thing. I did take my black here of, um, and add it to my stars. It is a... with the fine liner, that's what I'm trying to think of, and did some dashes around because I was just like, this is so flat. So I did do dashes around with my fine liner, the stars there, and around the edges in that kind of a thing. And now I'm adding, this is the super glossy one, the thicker, super glossy, and I just got a really rough brush, and I'm getting the brush strokes in, because I really like that look. <laughs> you can go over something that's totally flat and make it look very painterly and very brush stroke, with lots of brush strokes, if you use a matte medium or a glossy medium. So it was fun. And that is it. I hope you guys like this. That was really fun. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye.